Welcome everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Stock Option Daily Review for December 10th, 2018. The purpose of these videos is to show off our amazing Day Trader software, our amazing coaches, and show you over time that there are opportunities to make 5, 10, 15, maybe even more percentage points on your money in a very, very short period of time. So the stock, the stock uh, market and the auction market give us lots of opportunity to make money, whether the stock market is going up or the stock market is going down. And usually stock markets move up slowly and they crash, they drop uh, very, very quickly. So we quite enjoy these uh, ups and downs that happen in the stock market. We don't get stressed out when the market drops. So in the Great Depression, there was uh, a lot of talk about people jumping out of windows and everything else. And we think that's a bad way to uh, work the stock market. We think it's much better to be making money when the market goes up, make money when the market goes down, get in quickly, get out quickly so that you can have the rest of the day stress free and be financially free. So joining us today is Coach Rob. And he's going to take us through some trades on December, uh, from December 10th. Coach Rob, how are you doing? Good, Scott. How about yourself? I'm doing great. So it's, it's almost Christmas time, which means uh, Santa's coming. Everybody's trying to be nice. <clears throat> They're shopping. And obviously, nothing is happening in the stock market. <laughs> well, yeah. You, you hit the nail on the head. The, the seasons do affect the market and trading behavior because buyers and sellers are humans just like us. So they're looking forward to the holidays a little bit. It's a little bit of a lull uh, this week, but <clears throat> there are still some opportunities to make a profit. So we'll dive into a couple of those. And let me just share my screen with you. And as I usually do, Scott, I'll start with the basket here. And the basket is... The representation of the best stocks tickers for that day uh, that have the best options that we trade with our system and here's our replay timer so let's just zoom all the way to the end of the day and see what happened at the closing bell and we'll change that to five minute candles it's a little bit easier to read but what we've got here is a little bit of an up and down day so we had a nice bottom around the 11 o'clock hour and then it's steadily climbed with some sideways action uh, towards the end of the day. So there are a couple of opportunities in here that that profits could be made uh, because a lot of the stocks that we trade uh, or the options that we trade are for stocks that follow the market. So market support is always going to be a big part of what we do. And some of the indis, indices are are good for long trends, but I want to get into a couple of stock tickers for today. The first of which would be Goldman Sachs. And let me just pull that guy up off the list. There's Goldman Sachs. And we're going to go way to the beginning of the day and we're going to catch this trend right there. So this would be a put. And we'll zoom it back to 945 and go back to one minute candles, which is what you'd probably be in during that first half hour of the market. And here at the big time window, we've got Goldman Sachs kind of breaking out to the downside, uh, starting a red trend, breaking out of the risk zone. And we've got all kinds of indicators popping on for Goldman Sachs at this time. But the point at which I would want to get in is when it starts to break that resistance right there. You can see you've got a support line, right? So you're breaking support of SA and that's a really good indicator with some volume that it's, it's probably going to be a good trend, probably a powerful moment. So you buy a put in there with our transaction window and we'll just advance one minute at a time and see how far, see how far this goes. So every time I click with my right arrow, we're going one minute into the future. And you can see we're making a, a modest gain and, and Goldman Sachs is just charging down. This is what you want to see. We've talked about this multiple times. You've got nice red trend. You've got some signal and you're following this trend line. 
right? That quick trend line, that dotted line, that's really nice. And we talk about lower lows and higher highs all the time. So each one of these candles is closing lower than the last one. That's a really good sign. And that's also a sign that the trend's not slowing down. So you just take it until you see a good reason to exit, i.e. volume spikes. Those are big ones. They signal the ends of trends. And so we've already got 12% built up with Goldman Sachs here on this book. So let's just close that and have a good time with our 12.5% profit in four minutes. Beautiful. So that, that was, was the nice. only that was the only opportunity today, right? <laughs> no, far from it. Far from it. Uh, I'll just move right on to the next one. And okay. we saw in the beginning the basket was kind of up and down, so we caught one of the downward trends there, and we'll buy a call here on Square. Just let me get let the system catch up, and I'll get onto the Square ticker. All right, so down at this portion of the day, we'll probably go to three or five minute candles. So let's let's stick with uh, let's stick with five for now. No, three is better. Okay, so we've got square is uh, it's the it's the half hour mark in the eleven o'clock hour, which is a big time. We talk about time windows. <clears throat> the market's looking nice and green, right? So we've got support there. It's in this moment. And we've got Square charging up with some nice signal, K band, J stop, and maybe a trend line starting. But it's right here crossing that pivot. So at the 11:30 time window open, I'm looking at Square and I'm like, okay, if you start making a move up over that pivot with with a little bit of uh, power behind you, I'm going to be watching you like a hawk. And sure enough, we start breaking that resistance line, I'm going to bring up my options purchase and buy a call. Get right in there and you see the market is supporting the, this move. It's a really nice time. We're getting in nice and early on the trend. We'll just go forward one minute at a time and she's growing. A little bit of uh, a Einstein fractal there, no, no problem. It's not really a big exit point. For me, when I'm profit planning this one, I'm probably going to look at the previous top that Square got towards. So earlier in the day, on the green trends that it did have, got up towards 62.75, all the way up to 63. So this is the definite one, but I'll be eyeballing it as it approaches 62.75. And we'll just see what happens. That's that's a pretty good time to exit. Twelve uh, percent would be a nice a nice gain for this. Yeah, time. that's a nice profit. You you advance one minute longer, and it's kind of stalling out right around sixty two seventy five at eleven percent. So we'll just close it right there. And I know you like to see what would have come next. So you could have gotten up just a little bit further, but Ooh. Who knows you're you're bouncing off that trend line. This is that. You know, we've talked about this multiple times, Scott, on these reviews is, you know, you had a really nice profit there. You had a good reason to exit and have a, a good profit for that day. This is a little bit of stress. As soon as you hit that Y point and it starts going back down, you're like, oh, man, this is when the emotions start taking over. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, this, that's exactly right. This is when you find out if you're greedy or not. You have a nice, easy 12%. Do you want to have a really, really difficult 13%? <laughs> right. Survive five more minutes of, of just agony. No, no thanks. Right. We'll take that money and we'll run. And I do have another call to share uh, on this day. Excellent. That took place right around the middle of the 1400 hour. And it was our old friend, Facebook. So we'll definitely go to five minute candles for this late in the day. And you can see why I chose this time frame because we had some market support, had good indicators coming on on Facebook. And we're right now we're at, at the bottom of that hour. So we'll go to 1430 and we're breaking out above kind of that range that had been going on since the 11 o'clock top. Right. So, 
it's, it has the chance to go all the way up to these previous tops as we explored with Square in the last trade. So if I'm profit planning, I see room to run all the way up to this Y point, uh, but 142 is also a big price. So we'll see, we'll see what happens, but the setup is really nice. And so we'll bring up our purchase window, we'll buy a call. So the volume is dropping off a little bit within the first candle of this, this movement, but we're getting nice price movement. So that'll happen in the afternoon sometimes. You have to be aware of that and factor that into your strategy uh, when there's low volume in the afternoons. We've already hit that 142, that price point. It's a pretty big one for investors. You know, those big round, round numbers, those nice dollar signs. So this is this is a chance I or a time I would consider getting out, but really we we're early in the trend. We've got nice strong signal and all the big five, and the market is supporting the move. So I I roll with it and see if it gets up to that yet uh, Y point from the previous top that that early morning top, and it's getting there. It's it's touching it now. There's ten percent for you. Yeah, and, I'd be going, it's, it's the end of the day, get me out of here, time to go to the beach. Yeah, and and the skinny candle, just touching that Y point, we'll take that 12% and we'll close it out. You can see it struggled a little bit. It did make it up. There was a, uh, a resistance line above lurking that we didn't see coming unless you were looking at the, uh, the price movement. So right there, it, you know, we talk about this all the time, Scott. Is you know, this, I guess my coach's tip of the day is there are a multitude of reasons to exit, but like you said last time, greed is is one of the things that keeps us into trades that we shouldn't be in. And you know, you can hang around and and squeeze out a couple more percentage, but what we're doing there is we're trying to get perfection out of a trade, and you can't be perfect with this. You can never pick the the bottoms and the tops perfectly you just have to get good and master this you're not looking for perfection so let's take a look at uh, how we did for the day coach rob absolutely what we ended up with was we had three two calls and a put averaging about 11 and percent so those are three nice gains on the day and you know they're not uh, astronomical profits, but man, they're plenty good enough. That's a really good day uh, at work, quote unquote. And the the lesson to take away from all these trades is you're not looking for perfection. You can't find the tops and bottoms of every trend every time. You're just looking for good enough and get in, get out before it turns on you. Yeah. And you know, 12%, 11%, you're going to be having your money in the bank a long time before you make that type of money. It's true. Good luck duplicating that. Yeah, that's right. You know, and in, and in three minutes, four minutes, sorry, four minutes, eight minutes, seven minutes, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty nice return on your time. Absolutely. You just have the patience to get there. That's right. Well, this has been the Day Trading Genius Daily Review for uh, December 10th, 2018. Thank you, Coach Rob, for sharing this with us. And thank you, everybody, for joining us. Join us next time. Our purpose here is to show you that you can make money in stock options consistently over time if you have the right tools, the right mindset, the right coaching, the right knowledge, and are able to control two main emotions that drive the stock market, which is fear and greed. We talked a little bit about greed or an opportunity for greed in the last trade. And uh, nobody thinks they're greedy until they, they're like, come on, baby, one more percent. Let's just do it. And of course, that's usually the downfall. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys.